It's Tuesday, which means it's time for some Unity tips. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hi everyone and welcome, this is Omar Blafaki. And today I'm going to share with you 5 useful tips for Unity. Why today? Because every Tuesday, the great community of Unity developers, they share some useful tips on Twitter. You can just go and search the hashtag Unity tips. Plenty of useful tips there. Alright, so let's get started. Sometimes you might forget that you're in the play mode and you will be adjusting your level. And after a while, you will realize that you're in the play mode, which means nothing would be saved. In order to give a better indicator that it's in the play mode at the moment, go to Unity Preferences and then to Colors, Play Mode Tint, and just give it an odd color, let's say red for example. So when you hit play, you could know that you're in the play mode, so you would never make a mistake. Let's say you're in the play mode and you moved few things and you decided to keep them. One of the solutions is you just go to the component you changed. You go to the gear icon, copy component, and then go back and then stop the play mode and go to the same object to its component and then paste component values. And ta-da, here it is. Another thing is if you want to focus on an object, simply click the object and then F. But let's say the object is moving. You could hold shift F and now whenever you move it, it's focusing on that object, even in the play mode. You can navigate through your level using the arrow keys, but if you want to have more control like looking around, just hold down the right mouse button and then use the west keys to move around and then just move the mouse to look around. And here you go, you're flying through your level. And last step of the day is, let's say you like that view and you want to change your camera view to that view. Simply click on your camera and then command or control shift F or from game object and then align with view. So these were five tips of the day. I hope you found them useful and let me know which one is your favorite and share your other tips in the comments below. And if you're interested in these kind of tutorials, remember to hit the subscribe button to get more of these game development tutorials. This is Omar Bafaki. Thank you so much for watching and until then, see ya.